Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We give God the glory. Can we quickly open our Bibles in the book of First Acts chapter 2, verse 40 to verse 47? Acts chapter 2, verse 40 to verse 47. Is Zenzo Zesbili di Ketu Tabubedi? Amen. This is from verse 40 to verse 47. Sfundele, ma'am. Yesterday, they were missing your presence, Makfundi by at the meeting. Seba Guti, Bafunuk Niga Izik. So we are not by bail with district. Um, I did not know there's something like that in our church, but they want to give you go to be no by bail with district, a new position in the church. Sfundele, mama. Yeah, bo. But in his cell and jalo, as if fundi swain is abapostol. Nasegushanga name. Nase gushe puleni isingwa, nase mikule gweni. Gepa, guaba yi lowo na lowo muntu, uwe shelwa ngugwe saba. Gwenzi wangaba posto liz mangaliso, nezbonagaliso ez nini. Bonke abakolwayo, babenda wonye, basha nganyela izi ndozonke. Batengisa nge mfuyo na nge mbasha, babela bonke ngayo, Jungo Guswela Guabo. Imisha and Gemisha, Batini Selang and Trizione, a Tempelin, Bashepula Isingua, a Kaya, Baza Ubuja Guabo, Gentogozo, Nango Bum Shope, Ben Trizio. Mm. Bem to Misa Unkudunkul, Betandega, Guban to Bonke. In course, Yenezela, Ebangeni, Imisha, Gemisha, Abasindi Swai. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Verse 40, Uti, with many other words, he warned them, and he pleaded with them, save yourselves from the corrupt generation. Hallelujah. Save yourself from the corrupt generation. We know, Basalwane, that we are living in the times where our generation is corrupt. Uh, and we need to save ourselves. Our generation is corrupt, uh, and that corruption starts in our homes. Amen. I clearly say vela go government. I clearly say vela says chonja matenda. It kala ekaya la si vela corner le corruption. In other words, when we have kids, baba chonja ushugela, singa bakuzi si bashai. Siba chela kuti ku write kuti ba uchonge uchugela. Bese ba zochonge above intelligence uchugela. When your child at your house start to show ten trams, gawa ba bona la bantu ana ba tima ba funi zinto ba zla chele pansi ba 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 kibele pezu kwa masofu bonu kuti law. Bese bese wena jongo mama ngoba. Uh, abu baba ba isho ga kule ndo abu mama ba ba isho ba njongo mama ba sutu fuze umkulwa ke no baba wa ke bega nje yiko na ye nje let me tell you you are breeding a wrong child ngoba lo mtu analo uyo kula asuti mininte ngi funayo I must throw ten trumps and everybody must bow and listen now it is very important when we raise our kids from a car we teach them the right things. But we are living in a very corrupt society. Our government is messed up. Our nation is faced with so many challenges. Let me tell you, it's not the problem here in South Africa. The world is becoming corrupt and corrupt and corrupt every day. Ah, like corruption, besides, with the Enzo Abanta Bakogi, All Star, Nesput, Yabaneska, Abat Bagaham, Muntu Mono, Wutilo, Muntu Jan, Besutimam. Those are the most sweetest people you can ever find. The, some of you who are wearing suits and ties and wearing spectacles and speak big English and carrying laptops and iPads, you are destroying the world more than Ukulubo. I think I think I must design something. We must take this thing down and we put an all-star guy here. Yeah, that must be relevant. I like the idea. Sorry. 
something just came to our mind. Yeah, no, I must look into that. And then we say, follow Jesus with an all-star. Wouldn't it be cool? Wouldn't it be cool? It would be cool, eh? Anyway, now, we need to know what we are living in the time of the corrupt generation. And it's important that you and I, we are saving ourselves from that time. But today I want to talk about the vision of God that God has for this church. I say UFC hope to you. I want to talk about the vision of God that God has in this church. And I want to talk about us implementing it. Many a time since 2016, 2017, we've been talking about this is our vision, this is what we want to do until vision, vision 2025, these are the pillars of vision, this is, we've circulated documents talking about that, if I told you, you will find it, don't worry. But I think it's important with the city, how do we implement the vision of God? Now, I want to be relevant to you, or, or, but I mean, I'm not the member of this church. Why do I have to do with the vision? I'm talking about the vision of God in your life. No man have any example about our vision 2025 as a church. But now in your life, you corner a vision, that you need to find a way of implementing it. We are failing to implement what God has laid in our lives as his vision through us for him. Through us for him. We are failing to implement that Ngoba Saba, Ngoba Sinama Doubt, Ngoba the vision is way too bigger than what we think we can do. Here in the church we know we are talking about cultivating hope and health in the spirit of, of Christ. Christ, uh, Christ. Cultivating hope and health in the spirit of Christ. It's written here. I thought I was going to have it on the screen. Uh, do you have it there? The back you don't. Okay. It's written here in, in small letters. That's what we say is our vision motto as a church. That we need to cultivate hope, cultivate health in the spirit of Christ. What does it mean when we are talking about cultivating hope and health in the spirit of Christ? What we mean by cultivating hope? We are aware that the generation is Pilaguyo. It's so corrupt, it's so misled, it's so challenged, it has so many problems. And we feel it is very important. Can you write what I'm saying, cultivating? Do you have it or you don't have it? I, I thought by now you should be on the screen there. Uh, it is very important that we need to cultivate. To cultivate means, what is to cultivate? Nezul? Ugufugula, ugufuselela. Uh, yeah, uh, nourisha, you know, uh, 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 nourisha the hope. We are saying, in the midst of all the challenges that we are faced with in the world, in our society, we need to give people hope. People need hope. Many of us, we are sitting here, some of the problems that we are faced with on a daily basis, you don't even know how you resolve it. You can come to us, my elder and everybody, and say, what is it that I can do? But when you come and sit here, we will look at you and say, you know people what, are, you know what people are going through? Physically, mentally, health-wise, Job-wise, family issues. You come to me and tell me, I can't even, I can't even, no, I wanted the wedding. I don't want the picture. I wanted the wedding. I've sent you the wedding. I've WhatsApped you the wedding. I want the wedding cultivating up. I want, to, I want them to be clearer. The 50 years, says uh, good 2020. Now, People think that they're going So you come to me and tell me, your husband, young child, I can't even offer myself, said, okay, my husband, I can't, I can't give you. All I can say is, okay, let's pray, let's ask God to But now, so, I can't give you all I can say is, okay, let's pray, let's ask God to pray. But now, I can say, But we need to give people nothing but hope. Now, the importance of hope, Vazalwan, it gives us a way of being able to walk and to go and to look forward to another day. That's what hope is. That's what hope is. Hope might not bring you the reality, but hope just brings you another day in your life. Say, okay, it didn't work today, it didn't work out today, but tomorrow it will work. I have hope with tomorrow. And tomorrow comes, it never works, by the way. 
and you still have the hope. Okay, it didn't work today. I still have the hope. I, I may not be well. I may not be going through wonderful things. But I have hope. And that's the hope that we want to cultivate. We want you to walk tall in the midst of all challenges. Because you have nothing but hope. Amen. And when we cultivate that hope, we don't want you to have hope in a sickly manner. That is why we are saying we want also to cultivate your health. In other words, Ube isn't but you walk with hope and you walk in good health, and that's what we call having faith. Having faith. Having faith. Last week I was saying to Abazalani who were here that if anybody can walk in this door and look at all of us right now, even this week I say the same thing, nobody can tell what we are going through as we are sitting here in a collective. No one, no one, no one, no one. I don't know if I look at you, all things are, that's why no man demand a good Abazalani skip a number 5,000. I say it with boldness. I'm born good when I was a Benzi, I was a Mali, school fees, I don't see that. If Benizalani ragati, Benzoti, oh, laba gang, telling you, situ. But I have boldness because when I see you, I don't see the things you're going through. I see power, I see strength, I see victory, I see ability, I see somebody who says, I can do it. Amen. Until St. Shala now, I'm food is five thousand notices, I keep on going. We are good to me and go through in. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Then after that, instead of saying sorry, I don't see this, I don't see the sin, I see the unseen in you. In other words, some of the things that we demand in you, uh, let me tell you, as, as your Moses, as your Moses, some of the things I demand in you, I don't demand them because you want to do it. I want to take you where you don't, you don't want to go, but God wants you to be. There are things that, as your Moses, I will demand from you, not because I see you have an ability. You may not even have an inch uh, visible to do it, but because there's somewhere where I want you to be, and there's a level of faith I want you to grow. Obviously, I'm not going to be unreasonable. Man, funi five thousand things, funi five thousand mo December. And I'm funi mutos ngi chuto. Oh, five thousand mina ngi gebe na. Which are now February, March, or not December? So I'm going to warang each other things of number five thousand mo December. But I'm just saying, which there are people who are hopeless even for things that are yet to come in their lives. You want five thousand today? They don't. You want it? Not December. You ask for it today. Already he knows or she knows with December I'm not going to have 5,000. He will tell you right now, I'm not going to have it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to. Already you know with December it's a failure to your life. No! Unless in fear, I'm going to have 5,000. It's a different story. But come to you and say, December, I need 5,000 from you. Then already you are saying you're not going to have. There's something that tells me about your faith. When God wants things, he doesn't want things that we have. He wants things that we have the ability to do. Not things that we are doing. And as no matter, I'm making sense. He, God's vision upon our lives is not what we are doing right now. Unkulukul magak bona ufuna izinto wena manjo onga ko azuk zenzonga gafinyele lugus fuya gu Moses fuya stamara agana ngisho demfu yo agagaza abe ngisho ipoisa he's just a stomach guy ufigum kumuli si mbata ato ko ena mbata ato shisi slash unkulukulu wena ufunyo kipa bantu anabagua Israel. Listen what Moses says to God. No 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 not me. Kulmanje ngau. I'm not the right person. There are other bigger people who can do the job. I'm stammering. Listen, Uncle Uncle wants to use Moses to deliver Bantana by Israel in Egypt. You ask to Moses Wapuma Ganja in Egypt. Wapuma Baleka. Because Moses killed an Egyptian soldier and he was running away. But God says, I want to send you back. Where Moses' ability and all in him, it's a no, I'm not gonna. If Moses had to think about himself, he would look at his position right now. I don't even have anything in me, I don't have an army behind me. I'm just carrying a stick. And God says, I want to use you as you are to fulfill and implement my vision with Abantu and Abagwa Israel. How good is that? 
How good is that? Now, there are certain things that I want us to know in order for us to implement a vision. Whether the vision of God is about this church. Let me tell you, God, when God placed us in this church, I want to make this clear, and I want us to be a very dynamic church from now on. I'm getting annoyed. I'm getting annoyed with us every Sunday. We come and sit here and have a wonderful church. We go home. We're going to come back next Sunday. We come and sit here. When are we going to come and go out to our neighbors and go out to the streets in our community and say to our neighbors, God loves you. God wants to use you. Come and fellowship with us. Okay, let alone the come and fellowship with us. We don't want people to follow us. But we want to tell and inform God in an informal way, in a more relaxed way. Last week I was saying, we need to be relaxed. We need to be able to go to our neighbors and say, hey, Joe, man, how's it? You know God loves you so much. God loves you. Let's send the message out. Let us be the disciples of Christ. Now, let me tell you, when God wants to implement a vision, he doesn't just use one person. He may give a vision to one person, but when it's time to implement that vision, hence I was calling everyone here on stage so that you can see what this thing